Soundfighter's absorptive LSE barriers can be erected quickly and affordably. Here's a look at the assembly process. LSE barriers can be ground mounted by using drill piers or pier and beam design. They can also be mounted directly to bridge parapets and highway concrete crash barriers or even to existing wall structures. For ground mounted barriers, holes are drilled into the ground and reinforced concrete piers are poured and set. For parapet mounted barriers, the existing parapet serves as the foundation for the LSE system. In both of these foundation designs, anchor bolt attachments can be either cast in place or drilled and set with epoxy adhesives to meet ASHTO requirements. Leveling nuts are then positioned on the anchor bolts in order to level and plumb the vertical framework to the grade surface to ensure that panel installation is straight. The vertical framework for the LSE system consists of engineered H-beam galvanized steel columns which are plumbed and bolted into position. After the columns are placed into position, base channels or angles are attached to the columns to add vertical support to the absorptive sound panels. Once the structural steel framework is installed, the individual sound fighter absorptive panels are stacked one by one between the steel columns in a manner similar to building blocks. Each panel interlocks together creating a rigid wall section. After the panel sections are installed, the top cap is simply placed on the top of the wall section and fastened to the top of each column with a fastener. This process is duplicated for each section of barrier wall. This simple process enables an experienced installation crew to install most LSE barrier projects within just a few days. The end result is a seamless, maintenance-free, fully absorptive LSE noise barrier that will last decades.